nervous and third nervous system. The third nervous system in an ass or intrinsic nervous system is one of the main divisions of the automatic nervous system, a consist of the mesh like system of neurons that govern the function of the gastrointestinal system. It is derived from neural crests. Function The ANS is capable of autonomous functions such as a coordination or reflexes. Also, it receives considerable innervation from the automatic nervous system. It can thus operate independently of the brain and the spinal cord. It has studied the focus of the neurogastric neurology. In the submucosa and muscularis layers of the GI tract, there exist nerve nets of plexuses, interwoven sets of small neurons, and it is these neurons which run the digestive processes. While the brain and spinal cord can affect digestion, we send less resources to the digestive tract during an emergency, or we maximally innervate the digestive tract when we are at rest uh, because of the sympathetic and parasympathetic divisions, for example. The vast majority of the process of digestion is not governed by the brain or spinal cord, but rather by these plexuses. These plexuses in the submucosa muscularis uh, form their own nervous system, the enteric The ENS consists of some 100 million neurons and thousands of the number of neurons in the brain, and about one tenth the number of neurons in the spinal cord. The number of the neurons in the human spinal cord one is equal to 1 billion. The entire nervous system is embedded in the lining of the gastrointestinal system. The neurons of the ENS are collected into two types of ganglia. Observed and submucus of Meissner's plexus. Myentary plexus are located between the inner and the outer layer of the muscular sternum, while submuscular plexus are located in the submucosa. The nervous system, the brain, spinal cord, and nerves is a living communications network carrying various kinds of messages to and from the different parts of your body. The nervous system is composed of nerve fibers that conduct information into your spinal cord and brain, and the other nerve fibers that send information out to different parts of your body. The cells that make up the various parts of the nervous system are called neurons. Each neuron has a neuron body, a part of the cell which contains a nucleus and other structures. But a typical neuron has two other kinds of structures. Long fibers that extend in different directions from the body of the cell. These fibers are often wrapped with a fatty substance called myelin. Fibers that carry impulses toward the neuron body are called dendrites. Fibers that carry impulses away are called axons. Different structures are concentrated in different parts of the body. Some neuron bodies are bound into clusters called ganglia. They are often associated with your spinal cord. The spinal cord is a long cylinder of nerve tissue that passes through the hollow channels of bones called the vertebrae. The spinal cord is protected by those vertebrae. It is also protected by three membranes called meninges. The entire nervous system has been described as a second brain for several reasons. The entire nervous system can operate automatically. It normally communicates with the central nervous system through the parasympathetic via the vagus nerve and sympathetic DG via the pervertebral ganglia nervous system. However, vertebral studies show that when the vagus nerve is severed, the entire nervous system continues to function. The entire nervous system has the capacity to alter in response depending on some most factors and block of nutrient composi composition. In addition, ENS contains super cells which are similar to a stroial of the brain and the function varies around the capillary sunrise. Glandular, which are similar 
to the block brain barring of several bull vessels. Pain perception and the human brain. Part of the survival value of pain is its association with learning centers in the brain. The brain circuitry associated with nociceptive and neuropathic pain involves areas considered to be essential in emotional learning, memory, and reward. The insula and anterior cingulate, together with the thalamus and basal ganglion, are most consistently activated in acute pain. The brain stem and the descending pain modulatory system also play a role, where activity is observed in both the anticipation and perception of pain. Clinical chronic pain causes increased activation of prefrontal cortical regions, which implies that chronic pain distorts the cognitive and emotional perception and processing of everyday experiences. Hypervigilance and an impaired ability to extinguish aversive associations of fearful or painful events seems to involve interaction among medial prefrontal cortex, basal ganglion, and amygdala, which is consistent with clinical data indicating that chronic pain patients usually suffer from elevated anxiety, depression, and decreased quality of life. These observations demonstrate that the brain in healthy subjects is distinct from those with chronic pain, indicating that chronic pain...